Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you guys are new students and I thought I would take this opportunity to think about some of the things that I wish I had done or wish I had known when I was a new student. It's my day off today. I'm working six days out of seven this week and I wanted to sit down and do like a proper sit down video. You know how I normally do, but I just don't think I've got time and it's a beautiful day and I have a lot of errands to run. So you guys can come with me while I do those errands and we can chat about the things that I wish I had done when I was a new student. So let's get on with it. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments with ideas that you have for tips for new students. Maybe you'll be able to have a chat with someone that is ahead of you and might be able to give you some advice. Got my hair in a messy bun. This is what it looks like at the back. And I'm about to go out and do all these errands. So yeah, let's get into it. The first tip that I'm gonna suggest is taking loads of photos with all your friends, especially on nights out, especially if you do fancy dress, because these are absolutely hilarious to look back on in years to come, and I wish I had taken more photos. I'm gonna have a little look through my photos and maybe insert some embarrassing ones now, so you guys can have a little bit of a laugh. My next piece of advice is to make sure that you try out loads of societies. University is great for having loads of different teams, clubs, societies on offer and it's a really good opportunity to just throw yourself into stuff and try things that you've never tried before. Also it's an amazing way to meet new people. You end up getting chucked into a group of people that you might not otherwise socialise with. So yeah, I wish I'd joined more societies and more teams. Uni is a lot about just going out and having fun and meeting new people and exploring a new place but you are also there to get on with some studying and hopefully it's a topic that you enjoy so I would recommend getting a good routine in for that. I'd say that the main way you can do that is to just get really organised and come up with a bit of a schedule. Making sure that you maybe study at the same time each day might be a good way to do that. I used to find that I studied really well in the morning. So find a routine that works well for you and just try and stick to it. Okay, this next tip is maybe one of the most important tips in the whole of this video and that is budgeting your money and learning how to deal with your finances. So when you start uni, you suddenly get, if you've got a student loan, you suddenly get this huge amount of money deposited into your bank account and it's probably more money than you've ever had in your bank account. So it can be really tempting to just go out and blow that money. You feel like, oh, I can just blow this on loads of going out and clothes and stuff. Well, yeah, you certainly can do that, but it might end up getting you into a bit of a sticky financial situation towards the end of term. So I would recommend having a look at your finances, working out a good budget. So work out the essentials that you need to pay for. So things like accommodation, travel, food, work out how much that will cost you each month. And then you can see how much you're left with at the end of the month. You should also allow for a bit of an emergency fund, so make sure that you have some money stuck in another account that you only can touch in an emergency. Obviously budget some money for going out and for buying yourself some new clothes and things like that. But remember that you can also get a part-time job if you have a look at your finances at the start of term and just don't think that your money will stretch far enough. I worked the whole way through uni and it was a really great way for me to meet a whole new friendship group. So yeah, definitely budget your money and get a part-time job if you feel that you need it. I apologize if the camera starts getting all shaky. My next point is to make sure that you have some insurance. I know this is a bit of a horrible thing to think about, but break-ins do happen. The worst thing in the world if you got broken into would be if your stuff wasn't insured and you couldn't get your money back. So make sure that you have insurance for things like laptop, your phone, your tablet, and also if you've got a bicycle, get that insured. You might find that if your parents have insurance, you may be covered on their policy. So check that out, ask your parents and see if you can sneak it in because it might be a little extra thing that you can save some money on if you're not having to pay out for insurance yourself. Most of the major insurance companies are available through Top Cashback and that means that you can earn some money back when you purchase through them. So I will link my referral link in the description box below. 
The next thing is to think about your mental health. Uni is a really positive experience for most people. It's so exciting to meet, be in a new place, have your independence, be away from home. But for a lot of people, it can be a bit of a struggle. And if you already suffer with mental health problems, it can be a time when your mental health issues start to flare up again. Universities normally have a good pastoral care service and they often have free counselling services that are quite quick to access. So if you do feel like you are struggling and you need some help, then make sure that you access those services. Please speak to someone if you're feeling down or you're feeling that you're struggling with mental health issues. On that note, also make sure that you are registered with a GP as soon as you start uni. That's really important and, and most unis will actually make sure that you are are registered. I've just arrived at Morrison's. It's a very glamorous life I lead. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was homesickness. Homesickness is really rubbish and it affects everyone I think in some way. Whether that's that you're missing your family or your home friends or maybe you've left a boyfriend or girlfriend back home. There are some really nice ways of dealing with homesickness. You can call the people that you're missing. You could print out a load of photos and stick them up around your room. One thing that I did when I was feeling really homesick in my first year of uni was I rang up my mum and I asked her for the recipes for a few of my favourite home cooked meals so that I could prepare them for myself and my housemates at uni. And it genuinely made me feel so much better just having the kitchen smell like the meals that my mum would cook when I was at home and then eating those meals with all my housemates. It felt really good and it did actually take away that homesickness a lot. I'd also suggest booking in a visit back home or getting your family to come up and see you or any of the friends that you're missing. Having a date in the diary that you know that you're next going to see them if you are really struggling with homesickness will help and will allow you to enjoy that time between now and when you next see them. If you want to save some money on train tickets, there's a website that I'll link down below called Ticket Split where you can save money on your train tickets. So I'll put an affiliate link down in the description box for that and then you can hopefully save some money on some train tickets. So my shopping is done. I also made it to the post office and now I am going to head into town because I've got a few more bits to get. With working so many hours this week, I'm really knackered and I just noticed at the milk section in uh, in Morrison's, I'm not advertising for Morrison's by the way, it just happens to be where I'm going today, but yeah, they've got these like iced coffees and I'm lactose intolerant and I noticed they had a lactose free one so I thought I'd give it a shot and see what it was like, see if it'll perk me up a little bit. The next thing I would recommend is to try and make your room look as pretty as possible or at least make it as comfy and as cosy and lovely as you would like it to be. So you can add things like cushions and fairy lights and like I said before, you can put pictures up and photos to make it feel more homely and just so that you've got your own sort of little sanctuary and nest that you can come back to and always feel at home in. I remember in my halls in first year, I put up so many pictures. It made it so much more homely and I really enjoyed my little room. There's loads of nice bedding you can get as well that will just make your room look that extra bit cute and lovely. Basically anything to make it feel more homely. It tastes very sweet, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it will give me a bit of a boost. So yeah, happy that they've got a lactose free version. Thanks Morrison's. So on the topic of being tired, I think my next tip would be to make sure you look after your body and make sure that you're getting plenty of sleep, nourish your body with lots of good food and make sure you're exercising regularly. When you start uni, it can be really easy to kind of fall off the bandwagon. You're no longer being cooked for at home if you were being cooked for when you were at home. And you're having to suddenly start preparing all your meals for yourself. You're in a completely new routine. So it can be really easy to kind of get into a habit of just eating takeaways or just shoving a pizza in the oven and not really preparing yourself nutritious meals. So I'm going to link a few things down below of some recipes. Really healthy, they're really easy to prepare. There's some BuzzFeed articles that have got some ideas for meals and a couple of recipe books that I've found really good while I've been a student. Eating healthily does not need to break the bank. With places like Aldi you can buy fruit and veg super super cheap and also if you're going to club together with your housemates 
You could think about all getting a taxi to the supermarket and stocking up on tins and things like that, or get a home delivery and split the cost of the delivery between you all. And in terms of exercise, just try and build it into your daily routine so that you're doing a little bit of activity every day. I went to uni in Sheffield for my first degree and if any of you guys are at Sheffield you all know it is so hilly and I kind of walked everywhere while I was in Sheffield. So I actually got a lot of, I, I did a lot of running but I also got very fit just from walking around to and from lectures and walking into town and stuff so I'm sure you guys will have a similar experience. Something that my housemates and I did in second year and third year which I kind of wish that I'd done from the start of uni was to start a house kitty. So we each put £20 in at the start of term. Any of us could use that money to buy household items that we would all use. So we used it for things like loo roll, kitchen roll, washing up liquid. And it just meant that we weren't having to like nitpick over who's paid for that and who's paid for that and who owes money for what. So yeah, I definitely recommend that. It avoids loads of house argument, makes your life a lot easier when it comes to those boring things like sorting out who's gonna buy the loo roll. Starting uni is a really great time to buy a whole load of new clothes. And I'm not saying go out and spend your student loan on loads of new clothes. But my personal experience was that I really didn't like any of the clothes that I'd been wearing to sixth form and I was fed up and I kind of wanted to use it as, a, as an opportunity to, um, to kind of rethink my look. What I would say is that buying clothes does not have to break the bank. So this top that I'm wearing at the moment is a phase eight top, which would probably cost, I don't know, I don't know how much phase eight tops are brand new, maybe 30, 40 pounds, but I got it for a fiver on eBay. So eBay is a great option. There's an app called Depop where you can buy secondhand clothes. I'll link mine down below. I'm selling a load of things at the moment. And you can also use that to sell your own clothes that you don't wear anymore. To make a little bit of extra dollar dollar obviously places like primark where you can buy clothes super cheap but i would encourage you to have a look through charity shops and have a look in secondhand and vintage shops and just experiment with new looks but as i mentioned in the previous tip about making a budget for yourself definitely set a limit on how much you want to spend on some new clothes and don't go over that limit because it's really tempting to just kind of blow a load of cash Anyway guys, so that is it for this video. I hope that you have found some of these tips useful. These are the sort of things that I would have loved to have been told when I was starting uni. And I wanna hear from you. Comment down below, tell me whether you're starting uni, whether you're at uni. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video, then you might find some playlists and other videos that I've made that you find enjoyable. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time, bye.